So let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say, one, two, three, God in your name, you've been the midst of them. We now invite you to see the present Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, we, we take this day and celebrate in our country, in this country, Father's Day. And, and what we want to do is to recognize and honor you as the Father of all things, glory to God. And, and we thank you for being the provider for all of us to seek you. And I, I like what the word says, seek you first. So we seek you and we thank you that we have a fellowship and relationship with you. And we're talking about those who believe and submitted themselves and, and allowed Christ, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to be our savior, our deliverer, so that we can be connected back to you. I thank you and we praise your holy name as we get into your message today. Move us out of the way and the Holy Spirit have his way to teach us and guide us in all truth. In Yeshua, Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Because if you go to if you don't go to the club but you do these, you're still messing up, right? If you do go to the club and you don't do anything, then you're not messing up, right? If you are dancing with somebody, but you don't but you don't do these things that works in the flesh, then you're okay. Is if you dance and do these things, then you're not okay. Look at this. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. That's what we need to be able to talk and encourage people not to do. Adultery, right? Fornication, right? Because look at all the things that it may contribute to. Uncleanness, lasciviousness, I mean, lusting for something, right? Uh, idolatry, meaning we idolize something other than or over God. Witchcraft hatred look at that because that's what i'm saying a lot of people sit there and, and and get mad with people who do go fellowship go drink their beers and all that other stuff we look at that and yet we don't look at these because the people there's a lot of people that sit there and say they don't go to the club they don't dance they don't drink beer but they got hate in them you can't you can't do these little small external things but yet you hate, then that's where you go. That's where the wrongness is of these works of the flesh. You got hatred, you got barriers, you got immolation, jealousy, that's what it means. Row, you got strife, you got sedition, you got heresy. If you're doing these things, look what the scripture says. If you're doing these things, look at that. You got a lot of cases we don't focus on all the things we see. That was it. We can focus on the club. And call that some kind of form of sin, but we don't call these things that is written in these scriptures. These scriptures are clearly talking about the works of the flesh. He's talking about adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition. These are the type of things that he said got some issues. These are real, these are the real issues. And you can sit there and people go to church all day long, but they, if they do all these things too, which people have done, that's where we got a problem with. Envying. Come on now. A lot of people sit there and don't think they envying somebody. See, I'm saying is we we that's why I don't I don't I don't really care about when we talk about the minor things. We're talking about somebody dancing, right? See, that those that's I think those are distractors that people try to use and try to get us away from these things over here, like unforgiveness, right? Unforgiveness is a big thing. Not dancing in the club, but dance, unforgiveness is a big thing. But look at this right here, verse 21, envy. How many people we know are envious, envying other people, desiring to have the thing that somebody else have? That, that, that is an issue, isn't it? Murder. You know, we get these mass shootings that have been going on in this country. That, that is a big issue. <laughs> Come on now. We, let's go with the big thing. Let's go with the big rock. Then you're going to, you can focus on the little rocks later, but we got to get this under control. We got to be able to sit there and call this out because this is where the problem is. When people hate people, based on party affiliation, based on the color of skin, 
that is where we're talking about with sin. That if we want to look for sin, let's look at these areas because that's what God is talking about, and that's what we need to focus on. The I call these the big rocks. Before we start working on some minor rocks, we better work on some big rocks here. Look at this drunkenness, right? So you go to the club and you don't get drunk. You you're lining up with God's will because you're not you're not getting drunk, right? But some people sit there and say, no, you drink a beer, you all. No, he said drunkenness, being drunk, reveling, talking about wild parties, orgies, and all that type of stuff. He said those type of things that those are the works of the flesh. Those are the works of the flesh. And he said, and they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If we look at these things, and then other things, but with these are the big rocks we just, he gives you, God, the scripture gives you, the big rocks. We've been focused on the minor rocks. We've been focused on where you go to church on Sunday, to go to church on Saturday. We talk, we get the minor rocks of where you've been baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We get, we get, or we get baptized in the name of Jesus. We get, we, 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 we talk about the fact is whether you read your Bible, you don't read your Bible, you need to read your Bible. But we're not going to make it a law. We read it because you need to know his will. His will. But we need to know those works of the flesh. He said, and, and those people that do such things should not inherit the kingdom of God. A tree is known by its fruit. Because he says right here, here's other fruits of the spirit. This is how they're written in the word of God. It says right here, but the fruit of the spirit is love. If you're, giving, you're dealing with people that deal with hate, you deal with people that want to hurt other people because they don't do it your way. This is the fruits of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, which means patience, gentleness. When you deal with people that don't want to be gentle with you because you're not doing it their way and their doctrine, you don't show no gentleness. You don't show no goodness. Goodness, what are you talking about being good to people, treating people with respect and treating people with love? That's the part of the fruits of the spirit. He says, there was the other one, faith. The just shall live by faith. The just shall walk by faith. The just shall be faithful. God is faithful. Therefore, we should be faithful in relationships, faithful. Huh? Faith on what we say. If we say we're going to do it, do it. But we do it based on the fruits of the Spirit. That's what I'm saying is if, if, if the, the brother asked me the question about whether you dance, and I'm saying if you dance in love, you dance with peace, you dance with joy. David danced. It's not about where you dance. In most cases, if you dance with the opposite sex, if you dance with your wife, that's your wife. If you dance with your girlfriend, that's your girlfriend. But if you're sitting there dancing and just whoring around and everything else, it's, it's those other things that go around it that we're talking about, where you're not operating in the fruits of the spirit. But the thing like it is meekness and temperance. Against us, there's no law. There's no law on these things. So you can do everything as long as you do it under these characteristics of the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? You can go play, go watch a football game, but just bear the fruits of the Spirit. You can go dancing if you want to, but bear the fruits of the Spirit. Dance in love. Dance with joy. Don't dance with all the things you're talking about, the works of the flesh. It's if you bear these fruit. A tree is known by its fruits. In Matthew 12, 33. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. So, yes, dancing is fun. That's not a sin. The works of the flesh is what where issues are. The works of the flesh that we just did, but the fruits of the spirit. So I'm saying is I can dance in love, I can dance in joy. I can dance with fear. See, I'm not gonna make those, I am not gonna make this minor thing of, 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 of we can't make dancing, you can't make going to the club sin. That's not sin. What was sin what we just read? Those things are earlier, right? We just read, let's go back up to them. 
but the fruit now the works of the flesh look at this right right now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred which is a bad thing right hate people based on the color of skin based on political formalities and all that other stuff variance immolation wrath you know when you got to sit there you got to show your anger your wrath toward people just because you don't they don't line up with you that's where we're talking about see i'm saying to me it's like it's good to go and sit and enjoy yourself and then go to you can go to you can go to the club you can go to the picnic you can go to a dance studio you can go to the prom you can do all those things but you do it in love you don't do it in these works of the flesh you don't go nobody don't want to be around hang, angry people but that's what we have right angry people right you got this rife wrath you got this sedition you got this heresy those are the type of things that are sin you got this envy and you got this murder and drunkenness and reveling and, and such like i'm telling you before as i also told you in time past the day would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god it's not telling you going to the club drinking your little beer or your little wine you're not going talking about if you drink your beer and you get drunk you drink your wine, you get drunk. You drink your fire or you get drunk. Drunkenness is in that list, right? There's a list right there in verse 21. Envy and murder, drunkenness. It's, it's, not, it's not talking about you not enjoying your life. And, and, and that's definitely when you talk about spending time with somebody that you're in love with and taking them out of the death. Those things are good. But see, those are the things that people, I don't smoke, don't chew, don't hang with people to do. That ain't doing it. If you bear any fruit, the works of the flesh, that's what you got a problem with. But if you've worked on this fruit of the spirit, now we that's what he wants us to do. We're supposed to bear fruit. That's what the thing, the one we said earlier said unfruitful works, right? Let's let's show that real quick. I'm sorry, I hate, but I want to show this real quick. About unfruitful works. Where is it at here? Uh uh, where is it at? Unfruitful works verse what is verse uh i think it's verse six here uh verse nine for the fruit of the spirit is is in all goodness and righteousness and truth but he said verse 11 look at this right here verse 11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them we don't want to be in the unfruitful works of darkness. We want to bear the fruit of the spirit. And that's why we just read those scriptures here about the fruits of the spirit is the fact of that love, that joy, that peace, that long suffering. That's the characteristics of the Holy Spirit being manifested in us. That's where we want to walk with and operate in. He said, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. That's the works of the flesh. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. And I think we don't move into the, in our political affiliation, we don't move into vain glory. When we talk about racism, we move, you don't glory in the color of your skin. You glory in the will of God, your Father in heaven. You don't want to have vain glory. A lot of people get stuck in we have relationship, wars, all that for vain glory. Instead of for the love and the mercy that goes with. Look at this, provoking one another, envying one another. <laughs> a lot of wars, a lot of hate and division. All that is stuff based on the envy works in the flesh those are the type of things the unforgiveness those are the type of things that god don't want us to get involved with and that's what i think is so important i was sitting there early and i'm talking about, look at what the works of the flesh have been doing lately i was talking about in june 17th we already had the we look saint stephen the physical church these things that happen look at him talking about going to the club Used to be we talking about people getting shot in the club or something like that, right? But no, these people can people get shoot in the in ministries. In ministries. 
you talking about the, the St. Stephen Episcopal Church shooting last in America, latest in America, long string of mass shooting. This is where we got some issues. See what I'm saying is, you know, I won't worry about three to four hundred twelve. Well, we got people going out there shooting people in the church, going to the church and shooting people. Look at it said. This, this, this article I pull up here. Talking about a church shoot on Thursday in the Vestavia Hill is just the latest and recent high-profile shooting in May and June, starting with racist attack that killed ten people. 10 black people at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. Some of the more noticeable episodes of gun violence in recent weeks. That's what I'm saying. I, we, we got some big things that are works in the flesh that are happening. He said at least two people died and another was hospitalized after a shooting Thursday evening at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Birmingham, server. Police said the suspect is in custody. Look at this. We got. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.